in this episode, we embarking a new 3,000 mile trip to Connecticut and we talk about what's wrong with Volvo, really, what's wrong? Sahir and if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any episodes. Dispatcher told me to be here by four. I go here a quarter to four. Now they say here that I won't be loaded until five. So it's always something. And then basically they don't tell you what door you gotta go. You gotta see if there is a door open. You know, if there's a space, then you know, figure it out and try to get in there so it's like don't get in there before me kind of thing and then it's uncomfortable parking too it's just it's a pain in the butt <music> It's not the best, it's 
currently the second best. The truck is amazing. It's powerful, it's nice. Inside the comfort, look at the space between those two seats. Like arms, legs. You see those Peter Bills, they are like, they look beautiful though. You know, at night they look like a space shuttle, right? And they have the tubes out like this. Oh, it's, it's just, they are gorgeous. But let's, let's get real. Let's be real about this. You know, it's like one seat is here and, and the stick here and basically it's for one person only and you only have space to sleep and that's it. Okay. The truck here I have, you know, a microwave, TV, printer, um, fridge. I mean, I cook in here, you know, I have iron pan, I have everything in here. This is a house. It's as big as a house, okay? It's just like a small studio, this place. The only thing it's missing is a toilet. Other than that, it's, I mean, it's really good. I mean, the truck, you know, nothing wrong with the, with the truck. It's the shop, that's what's wrong. And I'm talking about from my experience with Vancouver, Volvo dealership, a Volvo shop. Okay? Every time you gotta change oil, it's like, oh my god. You gotta make an appointment for like two or three weeks ahead. I'm function like that. I don't even know when I'm gonna be in Vancouver. How am I gonna make an appointment for three weeks? they crazy or something and then you know they are so expensive so expensive it's ridiculous like every repair every you know all change is four hundred dollars like come on seriously that's why people like freight liners and little bills and everything because when they break yeah, tons of parts, you know, and the repairs are cheap. I mean, Volvo barely breaks, but when it does, holy moly, you gotta end up at the Volvo dealership for one reason or another, because they are the only one who has a part, and holy cow, it's an arm and a leg. It's so expensive, so that's just wrong. So, I don't know, man. And then the service, at least in Pacific Truck Volvo place in Vancouver, BC. That one there, that shop there, oh my God. You know, basically I have to tell them what's wrong with the truck. You know, the cab in this truck was like tilted. We took it there. Say fix it. We went to pick up the truck. Oh, it's 90% perfect. What do you mean 90%? Why not 100%? Whoa, you didn't say that you wanted it. Do I have to tell you that, that I want it perfect? Like, what the hell is this? You know, like, what? And then not only that, a week later, I opened the hood to put some, you know, uh, windshield washer fluid. There is a screwdriver in there. They left it. What the hell? What's wrong with that? It's ridiculous. You know, the battery case is, is undone. It's like they don't want to work. And when they do, it's just sloppy. So, man, if you have a Volvo, I hope you're in Winnipeg. I mean, I've been to other shops in other places, you know, in Alberta and Winnipeg and you know, especially the one in Winnipeg. It's really nice. Those guys know what they're doing. You get in there, right away they plug you out in, they tell you exactly what the problem with the truck is and that's it. You know, they tell you right there and then we can fix it today or you need to 
tomorrow or something but it's really fast really fast they tell you when they're gonna you know fix it and you don't have to wait a lot I mean the longest I sit in there it was 12 hours just since the point that I, I got there with no appointment got there told them what you know I have this problem bam, 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 done but in Vancouver yeah. try to avoid that man if you can anyway that's what's wrong with Volvo there's nothing wrong with the truck it's a shop in Vancouver think about it and if you people in Vancouver listen to me get better Just turning 82 going to Yakima. I mean, this is my trip to Connecticut. You know, the GPS is telling me to go 90 all the way through Montana and all of that, and then take 94 to North Dakota, all the way to Minnesota, you know, Wisconsin, and then Chicago. I mean, that's the shortest route to. Right, but I was checking the weather, and as usual, Montana is is bad. So I decided I'm gonna go south. I'm gonna take it to down to Oregon, and then 84. And then I'm gonna hit 80 in Utah all the way down there straight you know and avoid all the weather maybe I'm gonna drive maybe a couple of hours more or something I don't know I'm not exactly because this TV is stupid but uh, I'm not gonna take a chance I'm not going to risk it, it's just not worth it, I mean let's face it, let's face it, I'm only 44 years old, I have my whole life ahead of me, I'm not going to risk it, you know, it's just not worth it, yeah, no, not worth it, I have a lot of stuff to do the rest of my life. No, 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 We go south. If you like this episode and want to know more about trucking, click on the link so you, you can see other episodes. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.